Hi all, today's topic is normalization in DBMS. Normalization is the very important topic in the DBMS. When you get into the any exam of the DBMS, based on the normalization, at least one question is mandatory. Mandatory question of the mandatory topic is normalization. Okay, so uh, in many books, websites, when you see, so normalization is a heavy topic it has many examples many data learning data like that so today in this video i'm going to give you a simple notes about the normalization so you can learn easily okay so in this video i'm not going to explain anything about the uh, in depth of the normalization i'm going to give you a simple notes just write the all the notes in your notebook okay read multiple times understand it Okay, let's get into the topic. Right, for normalization, in the first is the uh, definition of the normalization. Okay, normalization is the process of evaluating and correcting table structures for eliminating redundancy and inconsistency of data. This is called normalization. So this is the definition of the normalization. Okay, for achieving the normalization, we have to apply set of rules these rules are known as normal form they are they are basic normal forms and advanced normal forms in the basic normal forms we have three first one is first normal form also known as 1nf okay 1nf and second normal form third normal form right in the advanced normal forms we have three one is voice code normal form also known as bcnf fourth normal form and fifth normal form okay so uh, for each we are going to explain with an example let's get into the first normal form okay first normal form also known as 1nf a relation is said to be nf if it does not contain multi-valued attributes that is all columns contain atomic values so this is the definition of the I mean, first normal form here uh, for example, if you have uh, get into the exam, so at least you need to mention multi-valued attributes, multi-valued attributes, atomic wells. These two words are the very important in the first normal form. Okay, multi-valued attributes and atomic values, right? And uh, here below, I have given a simple example of the uh, one and F. Okay, and this is a simple table. Okay. Uh, based on employee number, name, salary, course name, and date completed. Here, course name for employee, employee there are multi values like uh, I mean um, C and C. So, that about table is not in 1NF because uh, the course name for each employee, the course name has multi values. So, that's why it is not in 1NF. So, to convert this table into 1NF, the below table, I mean. I have converting the above table into the below like that for each employee i mean for each uh, we have one course name right we are giving c plus plus to another okay so now this table is become the first normal form okay so the relation is in i mean the relation between all the data is first normal form okay this is the detail about first normal form now getting to the second normal form so second normal form a relation is said to be to an f if it satisfies the following properties so the second normal form must satisfy the four below two properties that is the relation must be in one nf that means uh, relation must be must satisfy all the conditions in the one nf as well as uh, it does not contain a partial functional dependency remember this word partial functional dependency it is the most important in the second normal form so along with the first normal form sat along with the satisfying the first normal form it does not contain the partial functional dependency right you need to mention these two points a b a b you need to mention these two points one and f and par it does not contain partial functional dependency it's important word in the second normal form so here we have given an example apply name employee employee number sal name salary course name and date completed okay so the functional difference i mean employee number course name date completed 
so uh, in second functional dependency i mean to nf there is a partial functional dependency so we have to decompose the relation so for the above a relation we have to decompose it below two i mean employee and course okay employee number employee name and salary right so we have decomposing the two relations for the above relation right and uh, same as well as course employee number course name date completed hence uh, the above two relations are in 2nf it is satisfying the 2nf Mm, conditions right so okay this is, these are these are all the simple example and simple notes about the normalization right now get into the third normal form a relation is said to be in 3nf if it satisfies the following properties right a b the relation must be in 2nf it means it satisfies the, all the conditions in the uh, to all the conditions of the 2nf and it does not contain transitive dependency the transitive dependency this word is very very important in 3nf okay so uh, if you are going to uh, exam you need to mention these two points the relation must be in 2nf it does not contain transitive dependency for the 3nf okay so the below you have given an example customer table, right customer id customer name salesperson id region so the functional dependence i mean customer id customer name as a salesperson id salesperson region but uh, salesperson id and region does not you know uh, customer id and customer name okay the functional dependencies yeah uh, this uh, you need to write for a uh, more marks okay in second functional dependency so this is not satisfying the uh, uh, third normal form okay so to satisfy it we need to divide the about table i mean about relation into below like salesperson and salary for the salesperson we have different table and i am different relation and for the customer we have different relation right okay hence uh, the about two relations are satisfying the our relation in 3nf okay let's go into the advanced normal forms like boy scout normal form bcnf so the relation must a relation must said to be in bcnf if it satisfies the following properties a b then the relation must be in 3nf means it satisfy all the uh, conditions of the 3nf and that determinant must be a candidate key remember it candidate key the determinant must be a candidate key so here after writing this point you need to give the some the basic definition of the candidate key okay a field or combination of fields used for adding paying a single record will be called as candidate key a field or combination of fields used for adding paying a single record will be called as a candidate key okay this is a simple definition of the bcnf you need to mention candidate key definition so okay because it has some kind of condition called determinant must be a candidate key so in the below i am giving the simple example okay so the simple example student id lecturer subject and average okay the functional dependence student id lecturer has subject and average but subject has only one lecture okay subject will be reading by many students but subject has one lecture the above relation is is in 3nf but not in bcnf okay the above relation is in 3 but not in. so to, to satisfy the bcnf conditions we can decompose the above table into bigger relations okay for student and decomposing the two student and subject for the student subject we have student id subject and average okay for subject uh, we have subject and lecture hence the above two relations are satisfying the are in bcnf right now uh, we are going to the fourth normal form fourth normal form a relation is said to be in 4nf if it satisfies the following properties the relation must be bcnf it means it satisfy all the properties and conditions of the bus code normal form and as well as it does not contain multi value dependencies remember it multi value dependencies for each normal form we have one code so that is mandatory to mention the exam okay without this you can't get any even off mark also okay if you mention this this type of words i mean every normal form we have one code if you mention these words you will get at least half mark or one mark also 
and fifth number form. For the fourth and fifth number form, we are not giving links because uh, for this we have get more number of papers for the, the BCNF. Till BCNF it is important and this is fourth number form, we are not giving an example, right? For the fifth normal form, a relation is set to be in 5NF if it satisfies the following properties. It means the relation must be in 4NF. It means it satisfies all the conditions of the 4NF as well as it does not contain the joint dependency. Okay. It does not contain joint dependency. If it does not contain, it will be in 5NF. Mostly we will use uh, BCNF mostly. Okay. Mostly we will use from 1NF to BCNF. In real cases, we will use 5NF and 4NF. So that's why I am not giving any examples to the 4NF and 5NF. Okay. Okay, let's uh, revise it. So first, uh, we need to write the addition definition of the normalization and all the types of the normal forms. Okay. And first, the first normal form, we have one word. So I, I have already said every normal form has one uh, important word you need to mention uh, importantly mention that word in the exam okay multi-valued attributes it is important multi-valued attributes and atomic pages you need to mention it in your exam okay that is first normal form and for the second normal form relation must be in one nf as well as it does not contain partial functional dependence it does not contain partial functionality this is the important for the 2nf and for the 3nf the relation must be in 2nf it does not contain the transitive dependency it does not contain transitive dependency and we are going to the boys code normal form the relation must be in a 3nf the determinant must be in candidate key Along with this, we need to give a simple definition of the candidate key. Okay. Uh, we're going to the fourth normal form. The relation must be in foreign BC, BCNF. It does not contain multi-valued dependencies. Right. This, these are uh, very, very important words in the normal forms. Every normal form has one important word. Okay. You need to mention for the fifth normal form, the relation must be in foreign NF. It does not contain joint dependency so uh, to learn more about this first of all what i'm saying is just to uh, slow, slowly watch the video and uh, write the notes all the notes that i have shown here because it is very simple notes you didn't find anywhere okay you can't find anywhere in the websites books yeah uh, where, wherever you see it will be big i'm giving a very short simple notes you will get good books also right write in the no in your notes and read multiple times understand it okay uh, for getting the good marks you, you need to mention the example for getting good marks you need to mention more examples you find anything in um, uh, google okay so if you need more explanation just comment below next uh, if possible i will try to uh, explain you in the next section okay